in this B final. He can do a victory salute around the last straight. Josh Minton, he'll be back to fight another time. Lovely, distinct kit, like a checkerboard. Winner though, of your B final for the seven year olds. It's lovely. He drives up my nose and the rain drives onto the riders back as Finn Phillips takes the lead by that about left. Jumps a little onto the corner. Number two's on the inside. One of the company he's open. He's not going to get shut down. It doesn't look like he has. Lead it up the front. There's that little Whitaker right there in there. Coming out the first corner. Drag it out up. The two is in there in second. Hart on his wheel. In hot pursuit. Close to both. Is the 5.2 of Finley Collis. 10.3 is in there. No, 10.5, Freddie Goodman. He's come from the outside gate and he's made his way to fourth place. Phillips pumping up over the table. Well, he's he got experience. Has he got a heart? He's the British number three. He's the 1.5 from the side. Is that going to be enough to take him to the finish? That are on for third place. Go, Freddie! Five holding on in there for their third part. The winner of the seven final, eight-year-old, round two, deep south champion, Finn Phillips. <laughs> And the 162, oh, we've got you. Oh. 162, Bobby King leading out in the final. They're having a pump lap behind him. So Bobby is looking good. Let's give Bobby a big, fantastic clap. Because he's come out here on his own. The other two guys haven't shown. Bobby coming good down the straight. Racing for him and pumping through after him is Luca Mansi. He'll never catch him. The wind's going in his lungs. Mm -hmm. Ah, the second corner. Come on, Bobby. Show for the crowd. Styling. Bobby pumps up, Bobby pumps down. Listen to your name, Bobby, the fans are shouting for you. Everyone's shouting for you. The girl in school, who you've always liked, she's shouting for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's paddling, he's paddling, that's cheap. Good man. Don't let Luca catch you. Better look, well, look. Bobby King is king of the C final. Eight year olds, ready when you are. We've got Mika, Mika Pichel, Ryan Middleton. There's some good names in this. Oh, they not made the A final. That's the quality of racing in the Deep South. It is world number three, Mika Pichard. Eight years old, ladies and gentlemen. World play. Other she's riding for. Not sure where that is, I would say. South somewhere. She is being kept honest though by the guy in the running meat shirt. That is going to be Kyle Nelson chasing after. Mika in third place, 755. Ruben Livingston, fourth is the 800. Oh, Ryan Middleton, two sixes in there. Finn Talent, 199 is doing a little jump off the club. Harry Keat, the two bomber fighters having a little battle. HD and a bullet, but up front, W3 on a plate. B final one to her name, to a Laurels Mika Richard. Okay. Eight year old A final. Coming out of Zach Kennard. Yet another girl with a W play. W4 from Gospel, Lucy Simpson. From Decoy, blimey, well done for coming up from Decoy. Henry Air. Not so many from Decoy, I think. <laughs> from Gospel, again, the 754, Charlie Granger. From Mother, 1.2, Ashton Coombs. And from Bristol, the 3.2 of Curtis Copeland. Great gate there from the 3.2 of Copeland. Go on, Charlie! He's coming! It looks like it's a mixture. There's a girl in it as well, that's guys. Coombs is all over. They're swarming all around him like a bees. Man, a honeypot. Can't go over Coombs. Oh, he's jumped a little bit. No, he's heavy. Will that cost him? It might well be. Because here comes the 1.2. It's Compatria from Bell West. 1.2. Coombs going the long way round. Winding the pedals up. Copeland's shut him out. He's gone low, high. High, low from the 1.2. This is going to go into the last straight. W4's in there. Lucy Simpson in three. This is coming into the final corner. Here comes Copeland. You can see the straight. Maybe he's pulled away. Looks to me like he's done enough. Unless Coombs can pull something special out of the bag. Not today. Not on this occasion. Winner. Chris Copeland. 3.2 from Bristol. Females, 9 to 10 year olds. This is Grand Prix. They've been battling all day. We've got Manning. We've got Dickerson. We've got Shepard. We've got
we've got Cross, we've got Lovell, we've got Baird, and we've got... And in from lane one, bad behind her, holding her up, but it is that girl. She has been literally on it and flying all day. And Amber Shepard, she's made it three from three so far. My impression is she'll make it four out of four. Baird in disaster. She looks started, she looks good, she looks set for national raising this year. She could be going places. Here comes a 5.5. Lacey Baird, here comes... In third, wrong number oh, Stevens, sorry, I've got another Papa yeah, Stevens. Wow. Up to third, good few laps from her today. In fourth is another distinctive form of shirt, loving the old school retro cool style new school thing to it. One, three, six, Evie Dickerson, 001, Sophia Manning, been racing back on a bike for two months, she's up there already in the fourth place, big things to come, levels in there. But, God has handed to her today, Amber Shepherd hasn't lost a race, kept it straight lines, she should feel very happy with herself. Well done, girls. B final for the nine-year-olds next. No limits, say the song, and no limits, say these riders. 594 versus 29.5. Dudman versus Dudman. Jay Young's in there. Orlando Orgel's in there too. My goodness, there's Orlando. Coming down the second straight, though. It is Gosport versus Gosport. Is that Gosport Blue shirt? Or is that something else? It's green and white. I like it. I like it. Three, eight, four, five, nine, four, then. Looking good for this one. Can his mate Dudman do anything about it? No. Was that a shake of the head or his helmet a little bit loose? I don't know. 057's in there. Jay Young coming down the panel straight. Dudgeon. Tired legs, muddy, heavy track. Sleep well tonight. You get yourself an extra roasty today at your dinner table. And a possum sprout. Well done, guys. Here we go. This is going to be a quick one. Nine-year-olds. A final. Coming out of Gospel. On the 8 0 4, Sam Perry Ogden from Nightwood. Bet he's good looking. Everyone called Kyle, he's always good looking. <laughs> from Bristol, 4.2, Harvey Nemzik. From Gosport again, 44, Samuel Day. From Merton joining us today in the deep, deep south. 5.5, Otis Miller. Yay! Well, a tiny bit nearer than Merton, but then I would say up that way. 272, Lewis Longley. Yay. And a little bit closer to home, closer to the people in the first corner from Andover. 1-2 on his plate, 12 on Esselmont. Longley, that's where Esselmont got ahead of the snap. Heading shoulders forward first. Go Otis! He got about half a bite. Go Otis! Go Otis! Go! Tracy Stowe, Longley's coming alongside Esselmont. No, no, in third place is the Samuel Day. Coming out of the first corner, 272, Running Me versus Andover. Andover on the outside, Running Me on the inside. Gospel, 44, in the for Samuel Bay. Holland in fourth. <laughs> He's coming along. <laughs> well, Holland. Holland. Up front, though, 272. Can Longley keep this going? Esselmont is having a cheeky little look. Which way is he going to go? Go on, Otis! Go on, yes! Yes! Go on, Otis! Go on, yes. Yes. Go on, Otis. Keep it smooth! Keep it smooth! Esselmont in second. Whoa. Well done. Niall Moss, Matthew Lovell, Sam Starkey, Teddy Smith. One man's dropped out of it, but 65 doesn't care about that. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Six for one of Samuel Starkey. Is Teddy Smith in there? Oh, Sam! Oh, riding him high up the corner. Oh, Sam! 65. Noel Moss rode in the band, 641, perfectly clean, took his line inside, went high, rode him higher, made him do the effort, and he's got him the lead. Well, about three bike lengths, I reckon. He wants his C final win. A win is a win, no matter what race you're in. Go into the last corner, three one ones in there, Teddy Smith. Great name, that. Sounds like it could be a on, uh, Up front, 65, Noel Moss, well done, Noel. Good pumping as well, look at that body language. Pulling it up. Pushing it down, using your body, using your hips, your bum cheeks to drive it. They're the strongest muscles, and he's done well there. B final on the gate, 10 year olds. Harrison Adams, who have we got? A 105 has come out of it, low shot out Kai Kev, he's disappointed not to be in the A final, but he's not letting that keep him down. He's gone in for the lead on the first corner. Crowder leaning over, shouting at them in the air. This is shoulder to shoulder, though. Up the inside, come on, what a move that was. The 105, Kai Kemp has come up the inside of Hatton. Kemp versus Hatton, Sid. Sid versus Kai. It's EastEnders, where are we? Coming into the second corner, looks to me like Kemp has cut the bear of But now I'm not so sure. <laughs> Hatton, I mean. Hatton, lead it. In third place, Messi Carlos battling away with Kenny in there. But coming down, Hatton. 
followed by Ken, followed by 777 Talent, followed by Massimo Cala. And the fourth of Brandon Champions in there, the other three keeping it so tight it's impossible for a commentator to call it well. Now, 10 year old, a local lad, part of about a 500 family of Tyler White from Bournemouth. From Gosford on the 317, Oscar Simpson. <laughs> from Bath, 6.2, Ned Penny. From Gosport, big cheer from over by the tree, 719, Joshua Pedder. <laughs> Two riders from Bristol, and they're not any riders. There is 4.2, Ethan Ashton. And put your hands together for this rider, world number one, Betsy Bats. Oh, wow. And this little guy, fifth in the semi at the Worlds, what a heartbreaking to watch, rides down here all the time, 4x on his plate, Billy Brown. Good, good quality field, this, believe you me. Bats has got a good game, Brown's got a good one, up this inside, it looks like Brown's actually hit the 4.2, seems to be sneaking up, oh, he's finished, he's got Bats has come up the other wheel, Brown though, holding the wheel, he's got his elbows out, is it going to be enough? Bats is coming, the guy's jumping down the outside, he's got a little wheel, the check jumps through as well, my goodness me, 3-1-1, who's that in there? 3 one 7 Oscar Simpson from Gosper, giving these big names, but Brown, he's got two straights going, Bats is Bats, he's all over, looking for a way through, so too, it's a 3 one 7 Simpson, 4.2 is not out of it. Oh, no, no. So Brown pucks down, rides the corner no. and Mackey. Here comes Bax, cutting it through. Brown keeping it swift. The battle is for second and third and fifth. That is all over. I know, Billy Brown though. You'll love that. Home track. Bill, 10 year olds. Winner. <laughs> So he put two in there, Agnes Harrison. Brown is the one for, oh, the man for bed. Great Brits and Jamie. Looking super, super smooth, super clean. Just watch her go through here. Bike skills for both pedals where she needs to. Stops, pedals, levels the pedals out, pumps down it, using her body weight. Perfect motion. Poetry in motion, some may say. And she looks like she's got all four rounds in the back. Little glimpse over her left shoulder. Always be careful doing that. You never know who's on your right shoulder when you do that. But she's got away with it. 3.5 is in there. That is Lara Wong coming up strong. That right. Oh, no! In there in third place is also the 3.2, Agnes Harrison, and the 35, Layla Johnson. And in, here comes the 5 of Abby Winwood. The winner though, ladies and gentlemen. Rowell, Painter, Shatterling, yeah, Hamlin. Oh! oh. Sideways down on the first step to Painter. 882 is in there as well, Jake Nelson. Oh, here comes the challenge! He left the inside open. Never, ever. Oh! Oh! Oh dear! Oh! Oh! He stuck there. They've crashed on the line almost. This is like slippery come dancing. E final. Eleven year olds. D seven's got a clear paint. That's Ewan Marshall, but it's the five point two Kobe Ellis. Pick lane three, and he looks like he knows what he's doing. Up here, come from other, come from somewhere down southwest. Jumping up into their mat, jump to manual style thing. 46 is in there in second, Sam Lewis. Third there is the 225 of Elfie Norris. Josh Dupree back there in fourth. Not sure what's happened there. Must be an off day for Josh. But looking good. 46, Sam Lewis. Go on, Alfie! Must be related to Mark Lewis. Super smooth. Go oh, oh, Looking oh, really good. Sam Lewis with a battle though. Here comes Josh Dupree. Didn't like what I said. Having a battle with Elfie. Elfie's just about holding off the third. Okay. A final. From Hillingdon Hawks, old school club and old school track anymore. Left by Uncle Buck. 674, Robert Head. Also from Hillingdon Hawks, the 644 of Dylan Merrick. From Gosport, 905, love his name, Rocco Dove. From Nightwood, 766, Mel Kennard. From other, that means southwest somewhere. Devil Worshippers Club, 3.2 is in this, following his dad's footstep. Ninth Woods rider, 13.5, Daniel Howells. Woo! The mother, 1.2, he must be good if you're a southwest number one. Myth Pritchard. And our own top, top rider riding up, I think. From Nightwood, number three on his place, super stylish, Casey Markey. 
Barkley from the inside. Where's the southwest guys? They won't load up. Barkley's going to get across slowly. 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 Barkley's going to get this is going to be yes, close, yes, I can know it's in this. And they both won the big final win. London versus Hampshire. Whoa! Come on. Moment, it is the Hawks kit out there in front. Hey guys, Sean! 208, Sean Solvin. Jumping off the jump a little bit on his GT. Oh, is he going to get tired? He's going to think what to do. How can he make this get area up? Is he going to get tired? He should be yeah, sure. bending a little bit more than that, I would say. Maybe pumping a bit harder. Here he comes. He looks at me as to say, you don't know what you're talking about, you old commentator. Yeah, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. His head's, his head's <laughs> tired. Well done, guys. Great racing. Well done versus Tobin. Hello, Hollingdale. For Nightwood on the 46X. Ruben Talent. From Bristol on the 7.2, Dylan Shipton. For Nightwood on the 8.8, Samuel Wright. From Bournemouth, he's going well today. Number three, Thomas Winwood. Big wave. From Runnymede on the 7.5, Oliver Misko. From Bristol. This guy is fast. SW1, Elf v Bats. From other, somewhere in London, I think. Number one, Sebastian Bantland. Oh, yeah, he snaps on the two. SW1 and the one there on neck and neck. I would say that Seb's got about half a break. SW1 doesn't like that. Elf v Bats, he's got money in the back. Is it going to be enough to pull back? Oh. Seb? Seb has looked phenomenal all day. Jumps nice and smooth onto the step table. Keeping it straight. Here comes the three though. He's looking good in there. 7.5. Oliver Nisco. Slightly strung out this race. But that's good. They're keeping it nice and clean. Trusting each other. Who is there? 88 making a change for second. Up there. Winwood's in fifth. Up front. Seb's looking good. Get it over the back of the boat. He's shutting down a little bit. Healthy backs coming through. Mandolin smoothly through these last two. which were a little bit trickier than they look. Winner. Of the 12 year olds, Seb or Sebastian Batman. Uh, 13 year olds, what have we got here? Uh, Grand Prix, okay. On the gate, we've got Ashley Rogers, Cameron Carter, Ben Wilkins, Luke Nancy, Lewis Buckingham, Theo Pope, and Louis Horan. It's been going well there, you get stuck, Mancy's out there, on the outside is Rogers, it is Pope, Manuel in the middle of the step, Pope, jumps Emmanuel in the step, into the front of the step, the steeper, and another one's going over the grass, here comes Pope, leaping over the step, too, nearly clearing it, that's no mean feet, I think it's about 28 feet, that's what mean feet it is, Pope, about five right next legs, Rogers has taken Mancy, it's sad, he's leading out from the 5-7, one of Ben Wilcox, Brad Snyder up front, doing up himself here, left his teams this year, comes his way on just having fun, and riding, it looks like you can't get any better feeling and fun than winning your class. Theo Pope, hold down for third, Rogers, Luca, the 14 year olds. Snap goes with the seven, Jamie Baird, looking powerful down the first trip, he's got some horsepower, he'll be in the A final soon, he's cranked up into a step double. Coming round the corner, winding up, shuts down a little bit. Jump to manual, this jump catches him out a little bit. This one you've got to work on. Quickest way he's jumping it. If you can't do that, work on your manual. It's tricky to manual. Give you that. Come down here and practice it. It will get you better. So, leading the way is the seven. Bad. But second is also for night. This is a night with best, isn't it, in here? Pearman's in there. Wilton's in there. 22 year old born of Tom Winwood. He looks good though. I reckon Jamie Baird will be A finals before you know it. So too though, these two guys, 888 Pearman, looking smooth as well. Okay, we've got another A final on the gate. A 3.2 of Lydia Weber. In with a 
14-year-old boys. Well done, Lydia. From Bristol again, the 4.2 of Kieran Saunders. From Ronnie Mead on the 9-1-2, Harley Collins. From Bath. Okay, the Jason's up there after. West. He's going to be quick. Sam Penny. Also quick though. 7.05, Sam Murphy. Two girls now again in the 14 year old boys. These girls are quick. From Bournemouth, a 6 8. Is he a pop? Are you sure? Wait, what? Five of Ellie Yunker. And from Gosport again. Developing by the week. 28x. Reese Spelling. Spelling, good snap. Also, Pope's looking strong out there. Looks to me like. And he got shut down a little bit. Collins is in there in third. That means Pope in second. Spelling, what's he going to do? She's he riding up on the table for the fans. Yes, he goes oh. just slightly. Limp. And he jumps it from fifth to third to second. He's going to make the move. Oh my move. God. Okay. Ellie is coming with a charge on his. Can he hold that second place? Spelling looking super smooth. Technically very good up front. Pope coming. Ellie's coming on easy as well. 705 lost it a bit on the second straight. He won't like that. That's Samuel. Here comes Ellie on easy. But no. The winner, and he's looked on it all day. He'll be taking that to nationals next year. Bit of winter training. He'll be challenging the top, top guys. Respelling. New shirt as well. Okay, 15 year old, A eh? final. Oh. Okay, from night, loads of night in this. There are 15 year olds in the From number eight, four on his plate. Harry Lermachel. From Nightwood again, five, one on his plate. Oliver Gillen. This guy's from Nightwood. 2 2 4, Connor Blythe. We move further up land now. Two guys from Runnywood. The 54 of Sam Tripner. I might have said that wrong, sorry. From Runnywood again, the 46 of Oliver Warburton. From Hawks, the 581 of Jason Daly. From Nightwood. Mum's on the finish line, helping out. 466, Nathan Rogers. And from Bath, the 2.2 of Max. Loving Maxi on the start. He's over manual a little bit out of the game. Go on, Jason! Go on, Jason! Go on, Jason! Go on, Jason! He's going to jump this and get past him. Now he jumps as well. Yes, he's going, he's going, he's going. Great technique. Rogers crashed here last time out. He's kept up. Yeah, 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 yeah. 581 in third. Jason Bailey, Mendelis, Cruz, the 055. Going to try again, going to try again. Yeah, ooh. He's trying, he's trying, he's trying! Oh, unlucky! That's a good try. Tyler Hall versus 1 7 of Harrison Foster. Hall going in on the outside. Oh, he's good to see Spectre, I'm sure of that. He might have some gadgets on his bike. Let's wait and see if he can radar in there or something. Because at the moment, the 1 7 of Harrison Foster's looking good in his JT pants. And that must be a new team, this green and white shirt. Oh! I spoke too soon because here comes the charge! 007, Tyler Hall. What have you got, Tyler? Come on, Tyler. Come on, Hall. Let's go all the way to the final straight. They're both starting to tire a little bit. Lati is in their legs. Can they keep it going? 007 coming up hard. You don't want that. But 17 has kept it straight to win the people. Oh, he's manual over the line as well. A little bit trickery. Trickery pokery. These are big guys now in this one. 16 year olds, A5. That call from Andover, 372, Tristan Allen. From Andover again, 359, Jack Lewington. From Nightwood, 301, great little rider, Lewis Jones. From Lunny Me, 9.5, Ben Johnson. And this guy, I would apologize, I've been calling him Jack Bob Staples all day, and he is awfully also a good rider. From Decoy, number four on his plate, big crash, Ethan Squibb. From Bournemouth, our own talented rider, riding up, I think, two classes here. 14, right the 16 year old, the one S of Jack Bobby. And from Andover, probably one of the most stylish riders you'll see here all day. One, three, three, love the way this guy rides. Finley Mead. Bumble got a great snap, so do this squid, Mead struggling a little bit, but can Bumble hold him up?
Neil took it up the inside. Bowman's been pushed out. Squibbs come up the inside. This is good racing. But Mead, super stylish. I think he got top three in some nationals this year in the 15 year olds, but he is looking to improve on that this year. Squib winding up around the corner. Look at it. You won't see more talented riders than these three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these guys. Mead looks over his shoulder. He sees Squib keeping him honest. Step jump, jump manual. He's going to go to the line. Squib's come up alongside him. Oh, not quite enough. Finley Mead, your winner of the 16 year olds. Great racing. Okay, 30 plus Grand Prix. There's been some battles out here. You've got Chris Bax, you've got Mark Dunn, Danny Taylor's been winning a lot. Rob Juniper's in there. Yay. Rich Penny, Matt Hayward won one. I think he might have got snuck though on this last straight. And Graham Copeland, good riders in the Masters class. Doing it for another one. snap, that was from Hayward. It looks like he got out in front of Taylor. Taylor's come back. Go on, Rob! Go on, Rob! Go on, Rob! Oh, Taylor's bumped the first jump a little bit. That has cost him. That has oh, he's been pushed out. Like Copeland got the second. Yeah, and go for it. Yeah, go. Taylor. Push it, push it. Yes, Rob. Go on, Rob. No. Come on. Good move. I'm back. I'm back in business. No, Hayward in the interval, kept the lead, but that may not be enough. He's got a good start, he's been beating him all day as well. I think Taylor just needs a second with this, but he wants to win. He's going to the last jump, a little cheeky pair by Taylor, and he wins it on the last So Lord Chapman has been literally tearing his up. She's got to lane eight, but she's in about lane three already. That's the lead she's got. Owen Kennett, you cannot miss that. Helmet going into the first corner. But a challenge is on for the second, third and fourth places. They are all over each other. The battle is really third versus fourth. Two green plates in there. Harrison versus Ellis. I think Painter's in there in second. No, 72. Katie Rankin's there in second. So, looking good. Chapel, 72. Katie Rankin. But she's being kept 6.2 and the 2.2 of Harrison and Ellis coming at her. you got to hand it over. Leah Chapel has won every race all day in some, some style. Savage from the outside, Green's next to him, Savage has gone over on him, that means Trot has got caught on it, that's left Manny with Jumping his way into the corner was ranking. Savage winding out of the corner. Manning's coming for him though. Can he make anything happen? Young guy versus like Skywalker. <laughs> it's like Obi Wan Kenobi versus like Skywalker. Master versus apprentice. But in the meantime, Trot's come up. So Drew is a 6 0 Who is that? That's Mitchell Brenner. Trot has gone to second. Brenner's quite loaded. Manning's back trying. But up front, looking good. Really savage. Payback winner, going home with a few pounds, pence and shilling in his pocket. Thank you, Lisa. Like I said, the British 